Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to create and configure group policy object in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. A collection of group policy settings referred to as a group policy object. GPUs determines how a group of users or computers must behave. Group policy objects can control the behavior of workstations and the end user experience across the entire organization. Group policy can be linked to sites, domains and OUs. This allows us to match group policy requirements with the active directory structure. However, group policies cannot be applied to default containers in Active Directory like Computer's Container. Group policies within entire Active Directory forest can be managed via the Group Policy Management Console, a built-in admin tool. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msaptwebcast.com Active Directory domain. We have signed into this domain controller with a domain administrator's account. To create and configure group policy objects in an Active Directory environment, we can click Group Policy Management from the Tools menu in Server Manager to start the Group Policy Management tool. Let me maximize the GPMC window. In the left-hand navigation pane, expand the Domains node and the node for our domain msaptivewebcast.com. Double-click on Group Policy Objects. There are two default GPUs in each Active Directory domain that provide default security configuration for computers within Active Directory domain. The default domain policy GPU is linked to the domain object and applies to all users and computer accounts in the domain. The default domain controller's policy GPU is linked to the domain controller's OU and applies to domain controller computer's account. To create a new GPO, right-click on Group Policy Objects and select New. Type a name for the new GPO in the name box, for example, setting up Start Menu. Note that there is an option to choose a Source Starter GPO. By default, this is set to None and does not have any options until we create a starter GPU. Click OK to create a new GPU. Under Group Policy Objects node, a new GPU should be now listed. The GPU is now created in the domain and it is available to link. When a GPU is created, as with any other Active Directory object, it will also have the globally unique identifier value. Let's find the GUID value for the newly created GPO. Click on Newly Created GPO. Now click on Details tab. Here we can see the unique GUID of the GPO with the user and computer version. When we modify any settings in GPO, the GPO version will increase automatically. GPO version is used to represent changes in any group policy object. Now, let's see from where we can configure GPU settings. To modify any GPU setting, we can right-click on the GPU and select Edit. The GPU will open the Group Policy Management Editor. Maximize the window. A group policy has two types of configuration settings, Computer Configuration and User Configuration. The User Configuration is set when the user logs in, whereas the computer configuration applies to the Windows OS when it starts. Depending on the business and operation requirements, we will have to use both types of settings in the policies. Let's browse Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar. For this example, I'll double-click on Remove and prevent access to the shutdown, restart, sleep, and hibernate commands. 
To configure this policy setting, select Enabled option. You can read Help for more information about this specific policy setting. Click on Apply and OK. We can see the state of that policy setting is changed to Enabled. For this example, we will only configure this policy setting. Now, I'm going to close Group Policy Management Editor window. Using the same steps, you can configure any policy settings which you want. Over the time, we will have more videos on how we can configure advanced group policy settings with Windows Server 2022. At this point, we have created one group policy object and within that group policy object, we have configured one policy setting. Now, I'm going to click on this refresh button. We can see we have one for computer version. Since we have modified one policy setting and that's why that number is increased from zero to one. GPUs are not applied to any objects in the domain by default. Simply creating a GPU in the group policy objects folder makes the GPU available but doesn't affect the domain. To use a group policy object, we must apply it or link it to a site, domain or OU. When we link a GPU, its settings are applied to the objects in that scope. Right click the domain, site or OU you want to link a group policy object to and select link an existing option to link a group policy object to specific container. In this example, we will link this group policy object to sales computer OU. Let's right click on sales computers OU and select link an existing GPU. Choose the domain to search for policies in the pull down labeled look in this domain and select a policy from the list below. In our example, select setting up start menu GPU and then click on OK. The details pane on the right hand side lists all the policy objects linked to the currently selected node. In our case, we have only one group policy object named setting up start menu. We can use this panel to rearrange the order that the GPUs are applied. This order determines which policy setting is ultimately effective when two or more GPUs are in conflict on the same node. We can also view which nodes a GPU is linked to. Navigate to the Group Policy Objects node. Select a GPU. Click on Scope tab. The details pane on the right lists all the sites, domains and OUs that are linked to this GPU. In our case, we have only one OU where we have linked this GPU and that is Sales Computers. Be advised, this setting is now live in the environment. Every computer object in that OU will see these settings during the next refresh. Go to Windows 11 VM. This Windows 11 VM is part of our Active Directory domain. The computer account of this Windows 11 computer is stored under the Sales Computers OU. So GPU will apply on this Windows 11 computer. We have signed into this computer using domain user account Sam Harper. Let's right click on a start menu. And here at this moment, we can see we have the option to shut down, sign out or restart this Windows 11 computer. By default, domain computers and servers will process group policy every 90 minutes with a 30 minute random offset. We can also force the computer to update group policy on the machine by running the GP update command. This will process all group policy changes for the computer and logged in user. Open a run menu, type cmd and press enter key to open command prompt. Type command gp update slash force and press enter key. The force switch forces the changes without request for approval. Ok, changes have now been processed. I'm going to close command prompt.
Let's again right click on start menu and here this time we can see we have only one option and that is sign out and now the user doesn't have the option to shut down or restart this Windows 11 computer. Those settings we set to remove are now hidden. This means the group policy settings which we have configured on our domain controller is successfully applying on this Windows 11 computer. That's all for this video on how to create and configure group policy object in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.